Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're doing exponential graphs. Now, when we're doing the equation of the exponential graphs, again, it's very similar to your grade 10 work. Number one, you're going to substitute your asymptote. Number two, you're going to substitute a point. And number three, you're going to solve for a. But in exponents, we are told you it's not always A. Sometimes they can give you B, sometimes they can give you A. So look at the question they ask you and then determine the answer. In this question, they're specifically asking for B. Now let's start with our asymptote. We're going to have f of x is equal to B to the power of x plus 3. Then we are going to substitute our point, which is 3 and 11. Then we have y is 11, so we have 11 is equal to b, we have our x, it's 3 plus 3. Now you need to solve using your exponential rules. So if I th take my 3 over, I have 8 is equal to b to the power 3. 8 becomes 2 to the power 3, which is equal to b to the power 3. They have the same base, so I have b is equal to 2. So what is the equation? f of x is equal to. 2 to the power of x plus 3. Now, with exponential graphs, sometimes they will give you all 3. You don't freak out. The trick is to always have this point disappear. Now, how do we do that? If you have x to the power 0, then it's 1. So, b to the power of 0 is 1 and that would fall out. They would usually give you all three when they have a clear y-intercept. Okay, so let's see. You're still going to substitute your q. Then, if you see on rare moments that you have two, substitute your y-intercept. That would give you a. Then you're going to substitute your point. And you're going to get B. And obviously, then you're going to rewrite it. So let's start with this equation. We're going to have Y is equal to A times B to the power of X minus 3. Because our asymptote is minus 3. Then we're going to substitute the intercept. Now the intercept says Y is minus 1 x is 0. Now what does that do exponentially? Exponentially because b is to the power of 0, it becomes 1. So I have minus 1 is equal to a minus 3 and that would mean a is equal to 2. Now once you've solved for a, y is equal to 2 times b to the power of x minus 3. You still haven't solved for b. Then you would substitute your point. So I have y is equal to 5, which is equal to 2 times b, x is equal to 2, minus 3. Again, your exponential rules become handy. Minus 3, take it over, we've got 8. Divided by 2, so we have b squared is equal to 4. Now, 4 exponential rules, we need to break it down. Now, we have 4 is equal to b squared, 4 is 2 to the power 2, b squared, once the exponential powers are the same, they can cancel, we have b is equal to 2. Now you need to rewrite it. So what is our equation? Our final equation is f of x is equal to, our a is 2, our b is 2, to the power of x, and our q is 3. So our final equation is f of x is equal to 2 times 2 to the power of x minus 3. Thank you for watching. 